provide a quick demonstration of the new clustering functionality being added to Mark Edit, specifically clustering on Mark data. Uh, so I have here um, a file that I went ahead and quickly put together. Um, it's just a tab delimited file, and right now uh, the, the program is tagged to tab delimited files. So very simple. Um, three different types of my name, that's what I'm going to cluster on. All right, so mark edit, uh, tools, functions, cluster data tools, uh, and select source. Uh, we'll go get um, our delimited file, select tab delimited. And you'll see that there's a change here. It blocks out the index control data because I no longer know what your control data is. You can index all or index columns. Column index is comma delimited. So if I want to index column zero and column one, so zero is going to be the first column that I looked at my name. The second one would be the uh, title. And I can import that data. Data imported. Uh, I'm just going to index on uh, column block, uh, the first column, the one with my name. I uh, go ahead and the cluster, and so there's the cluster. You see three items put together. That's probably because I'm using the uh, uh, token uh, fingerprints. I go ahead and slow up the entire cluster, and when I want to look like that, process the selections. Save, change is made, uh, go back to the file, you can see this is the one that was generated, and you can see the cluster select them together. So the idea here is that um, in addition to having the ability to cluster um, on mark data, um, you have the ability to uh, mark at 7 to process data that's in um, non-mark formats. So right now specifically tab delimited and we'll take a look and see if in the future there needs to be um, other formats supported.